Hey guys, it's I, Wolverine 1231 here again, and this, this uh, in this bonus episode, we're going to be fixing up the uh, burning root cars. So let's first start off with the PCPD special. Because why not? And yeah, I like the, uh, I like when it, I like the way how the lights uh, shine up. Anyways, that's uh, the PCP special. Back into the junkyard, stop spinning out your form Formula One. It's pretty damn loud, too. <sighs> Alright, try Bill special. I'm just gonna try to speed run this before my phone storage runs out. Fixed up. Let's go select the uh, Thunder Shadow. I'm just gonna try to speed run all this. There we go. Shadows fixed. Also, the only the only two cars I'm missing is the custom, not custom, um, the uh, Carbon Acusa and Carbon Hydros, and that's basically it. We're gonna skip the Uber Shawl because I already fixed it. The Hawker Solo. Hawker Solo, yeah. It's really nice. It sounds really nice. I really wish Criterion kept the engine sounds of these uh, vehicles in. Nine. Also that um, camera movement on the front bumper, I wish they had that too. Alright, Revenge Racer. Alright, let's go fix you up. Alright, there's this car. Civilian, which is actually pretty nice. I to finish too. Enter in the other one. Okay, how about the carbon? Yep, needs to be fixed. 
Let's go fix the carbon uh, GT concept. Also, once I have the uh, carbon acrus and carbon hydros, I'll probably add it into this video. Yeah. This car looks pretty sick in this kind of color. It's just menacing. I mean, it is just a reskin, but, um. Holy crap, look at that stat. Okay, we got the GT Flame. Go ahead and fix it. Got an intercooler right there. I'm just getting all this done so I could um, do my road rules afterwards. I'm going to keep the other video short because I don't want to waste my storage. Because wasting storage is just not good. I mean, we have a NASCAR, so where's our oval track? Alright, we got the Detroit Racer. Which, of course, this is the Detroit Racer. Or dirt racer. Thick Thanos truck. Junk here again. We got the Criterion Toge, which has the original Burnout Paradise logo on it, which is pretty cool.
Carbon X12. We'll fix this one. Yeah. Stupidly grippy. I like it. I like it when cards are grippy. Alright, we got the XS12, which is a racing variant. And yeah, this racing variant was actually in the Burnout 5 2007 pre-alpha version. It only had a similar livery to this one, but it was like yellow with red, and it was number 18? Yeah, it was number 18. And just like the Carbon X hole, this thing is also grippy. It's not as grippy as the Carbon X hole. You can go for a walk in the park these days without some lunatic smashing the place to pieces. I was chilling downtown, then all of a sudden, three guys jump in over a dirt pile, drive under the bridge, then jump out again into a parking garage. Makes you wonder where the cops are, doesn't it? This is Atomica, Crash FM. <sighs> Thanks, Atomica. All right, now we got the Detonator Phoenix Edition, which did used to have the um, the carbon livery, not carbon fiber, but like. Delivery from Need for Speed Carbon. Mm. Punch traffic car. Man, this detonator is cool. Alright, enough getting distracted. Let's keep fixing the cars. Speed running it. <laughs> now let's just move on to the Opus. This uh, extreme low rider. No, I didn't mean to start a mark, man. Sir, Come on. The drive southwest to the naval yard. Sorry about that. The game decided to force me to go into a mark, man. This thing does not do uh, J turns pretty well. Anyways, let's go on to the uh, Tempesta, which looks very, very nice. And somehow, Criterion managed to miss the wing for the car on the uh, car icon in the remastered version of Brown Paradise. <laughs> Scratching my eye. Alright, there we go. Big car is fixed. Looks nice. It sounds amazing. Alright, 15 minutes in. We got the van. Mm. 
Oh, that's funny. If you look closely at the icon, it's supposed to have, like, red Formula One rims instead of gray Formula One rims. That's just weird. I think that's in the uh, 1.9 version as well, but I'll have to double check. Maybe triple check if I can. Alright, vehicle fixed. I'm not even sure if the liveries uh, vary, or not, not the liveries. I'm wondering if the uh, wheels vary with each other. Like, instead of gray, there'll be like black or blue wheels. Similar to what the WTR has. But the standard one is just silver. And the cop variant is white with blue, with like a blue outline on it. Also, this car used to be a racing bearing. Yeah, this car used to be a race car too. And funny enough, it was shown during E307. And actually, speaking of 2007, this livery, actually Finish 2, was used in the Burnout 5 2007 pre-alpha. In 2006, it was just a uh, one single color with like a Vector M12 livery, or not livery, Vector M12 body. This car has not changed. I'll have to double check though, but um, to me it hasn't changed. The loudest. Also funny enough, this car actually stalls on its final gear. Like instead of the other Paradise cars going like, you know, infinitely shifting, See? Our stalls on its final gear instead of uh, the other cars. Alright, the Hotspur. Already 17 minutes. I'm trying to speed run in this thing. And also, I'm not going to do any GT6 videos until this game is done. I remember this car being so slidey. Oh well, it's pretty thick. It's a magnum. What'd you expect? And then afterwards, we're gonna do some road ruling or conquering the roads as people would say it. All right, we got the Arachnosport, which is a spider, <laughs> of course. I like the sound of this thing, it's so good. Imagine if the Raijin Turbo was in 1.0. That would be pretty nice. It'll probably sound like way higher, more, much more crisp and pure than the uh, 616. Here's a Rattler. But there's no sign of the uh, race car version of this thing. Speaking of race car, this used to be a race car as well. And yes, I think I'm just gonna say the same exact things in 1.0 from the Cagney edition. Because you know, I already completed Cagney, and now I'm just about to complete 1.0.
now. Alright, hold on a minute. Get back into the garage. Select another car, like this Grand Sicilian, which did indeed appear in the Burnout 506 pre-alpha as this livery. I'm just surprised that it didn't appear as the Cruella de Bill uh, version. Also, the uh, startup sound for the Sicilian and Moreas actually changed. It was originally the Annihilator startup, but uh, now it's its own startup, considering the fact that this is a 30s or 40s vehicle. Also, the lights don't turn on either. That's a funny thing. The only light that does turn on is the main light, the brake light, and yeah, that's it. It's the main light and the brake, I don't know, it's the main rear light, and it's the main brake light. I'm just surprised that the uh, middle part doesn't light up at all. That would actually be a bonus feature. You know, like adding more details into these cars. Also, this car used to look different back then. It had a similar front end. Well, actually, no, the same front end, but different coloring. And then the back end was much more different. It looked nothing like a Dodge Charger and had a wing. The only reason I know that is because concept art, pre-alpha games, or versions of this. I got the Manhattan Custom. And I know this is getting boring, but this is, this is a bonus episode, so uh, it's basically there to just wrap up or something. But before I wrap up with the game, I have to uh, do my road ruling, or road conquering, and then finish up the, you know, repairing the upgraded versions of the cars, and then afterwards that will be the end of 1.0. And if I'm lucky enough, considering the fact that I still I think I still own the DLC for Big Survival. I think I can just re-download the uh, DLC if I can. I mean, if I can, that'll be nice. Also, I can just see Big Survival over there. It's not really big surviving, it's just like an unfinished area. And it does have misplaced, or not misplaced textures. It's like, there are some objects over there on that island, but um, it's textureless. So then it has a placeholder texture with a, you know, a light gray cross and four gray squares. Which means that's just a textureless object. It has a model, but it's not even textured. It's like if the Paradise cars didn't even have their own livery. Just like in Cadme Edition when I saw the Annihilator. <laughs> if you're wondering uh, why I said Annihilator, why don't you check out the video? You'll see. I can't remember which episode it was, but um, it had to do with the Annihilator. So why not check that video out too, if you want. I don't even know how to link my own playlist into the description. But I'll just, you know, wait until afterwards. I mean, we're almost done repairing the cars, we just need two more.
Once I'm done repairing these cars, I will end the video and then continue to uh, do my road rules and then afterwards, once I come like four road rules, like time and two showtime road rules down, then uh, I'll do a video on those. And then afterwards, I will, you know, finish up the uh, repairs. Huh. Okay. We got the Hydros Techno, which is the Custom Coupe Ultimate. It's not the right color for the Custom Coupe Ultimate. I don't know why it's not the right color. <laughs> this thing used to be freaking loud. And trust me, the carbon version is even louder. Also, this used to be uh, just plain green, and that's it. <laughs> This was during, like, after the 06 version. For the 06, it's basically a mixture of Finish 1 and Finish 3 for the regular Hydros. And yeah, we're almost there. I can just make the BZ Akusa replica for this one. <laughs> In fact, I actually made a video on it too, so don't forget to check that out as well. <laughs> it's in my channel. And the reason why I'm doing this stuff, like recording 1.0 gameplays or, you know, going through it, it's just because I like making content. It's pretty good. I mean, you know, you guys like making content as well. So, yeah. As long as it, as long as if it's uh, not 18 plus. <laughs> There's another website specifically for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say there is a website dedicated to that. <laughs> and yeah, it's best not to uh, say anything because there's probably a lot of children on YouTube that might go on my channel. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it like family friendly. You know, instead of just saying, you know. Oh, let's go play f whatever it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I can play some Minecraft. That's a pretty good game. You know? Alright, let's continue on. Take this saloon. It ran by a coupe. Classic coupe. This is indeed a classic coupe. Also, the license plate is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in between the uh, those two silver things in the back. I think those are lights or something. Oh well. <laughs> and yes, I am almost there. I do like this rally car design as well. This car sounds amazing. And it's also one of my favorites. Hey there. I was out partying last night with uh, some of the Criterion guys here in Paradise City. They told me some sweet driving secrets, including some great new places to race and crash. You should keep a lookout and try to discover them for yourself. I, I mean, I, you know, I could tell you where they are, but uh, what would be the point in that? This is Atomica, and you're in Paradise City. Hmm, that's funny you said that. 
Alright, we got two cars to go. And that's it. For now. Until we complete the road rules. Also, this car was also in the pre-alpha version of Burnout Paradise, the 06 version. It looks similar to this, but it had a bull bar in the front, and it had an engine of the R turbo. Which meant that the car was most likely unfinished. And yeah. And finally, the old Champ 69. Which is 440 cubic inches. And that's the uh, engine type, or like the size of the engine. I might have to search up what kind of engine is 440 cubic inches. Alright, then. That was actually uh, pretty nice. Anyways, that, um,. Actually, no, it's, this, this video is going to wrap up for now, but then afterwards I'll record another video, another short video, and combine it with this one, with the Carbon Acusa and Carbon uh, Hydros, so um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Alright guys, we are back, we're going to finish up this other bonus episode. So yeah, let's just go grab the Carbon Acusa and the Hydros, and then that'll be it. And hopefully I could probably reinstall Bixer Violin from my, you know, PlayStation Store, if it's still available, and I hope it's still available. And if it's still available and ready to download, I will gladly download it and do another, I don't know, part episode type deal with 1.9 and the extra file and stuff. I'm just hoping it's going to happen the same way as like how it did originally. <laughs> but anyways, let's continue. We got one more car to fix and that's it. Oh, it take me an extra two minutes of footage. <laughs> Depends on how fast I'm going. Yeah, this thing's loud. Alright, carbon hydro's fixed. So let's go back to the junkyard. just wreck the carbon hydros because why not? How is this thing still alive? Hang on a sec. There we go. Now I got it wrecked. Anyways, that sums up for this uh, bonus episode. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.